Hi everybody, I'm Donna Brousseau and it is time to say goodbye to the greys and browns of winter because spring is here. And with spring comes Mother's Day. So today we're going to work on a recipe that mums love, strawberry shortcakes. And here's a list of the ingredients. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna use some all-purpose flour. We're gonna use half whole wheat flour. So we're just gonna put that in there. It has all parts of the grain in it. Let's just mix that up together. All right, then we're gonna use a little bit of sugar, not much, some baking powder, some baking soda, a little bit of salt just to bring out the flavor. So I'm just gonna mix those together. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut in some butter. We're just gonna use a little bit of butter. Okay, and use a pastry cutter. Just gonna cut that in. If you don't have one, you can just use a fork or you can even use your hands. Okay, just want it to resemble kind of like the size of little peas. Okay, that's in. And then we're gonna add in our non-fat cream cheese or you can use low fat, whichever one you like. Just get that in here too. Now the secret to really tender biscuits is you don't over mix, okay? So you're just gonna stop as soon as it kinda gets blended in. All right, now let's get this out of the way. Now with my wet ingredients, we're using non-fat buttermilk, and I'm gonna put the rest of my ingredients right inside of there, so less mixing. So we're gonna use one egg and some vanilla, okay? Just gonna mix that together. And then we've got two wet ingredients. So we've got our canola oil. So I'm just gonna drizzle that on top. Take my fork and I'm just gonna mix it till it's barely in there. Okay, so it'll be nice and crumbly. Then I'm gonna make a well in the middle. I'm just gonna pour in the remainder of our ingredients. Okay. So just when it starts to come together, okay, so it's forming a ball. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put a little bit more flour down, okay? Then I'm just gonna turn the ingredients out, okay, onto the flour, and I'm just gonna lightly press it together with my hand. Okay, it seems crumbly, but that's, that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna pat it down to it's about a half an inch thick, because I wanna get about 10 to 12 shortcakes out of this. Okay, now I'll show you another little trick that I learned, is if you want your biscuits to rise up really tall, never twist your cutter, because that will seal off the edges. So just go straight down and straight up. So there we have it, okay? So let's just cut these out here. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that. I'll just make a little small one. You always have to have a test one here. Okay, then I'm gonna take my sheet pan and I'm just gonna put them on it. All right, and now all I wanna do, I'm just gonna take some of this flour out of the way, is I wanna brush them with a little bit more of the buttermilk and then I'm gonna top them off with some almonds. So the almonds will give it a little crunch, but they'll also add a little bit of fiber and some more protein to them. Okay, so let's just brush this generously. All right, so just top them off with some almonds. And there you have it, pretty easy. So I'm just gonna pop these into the oven, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes till they get nice and golden on top. They look wonderful. So let's just put them off to the side here. And I have got some gorgeous berries, which I've cut up so the juices have kind of seeped out a little because I wanna put a little bit in the bottom of our plate to kind of get the biscuit to soak them up. So let's take one of these, it's a little hot, but that's okay. I'm gonna just cut it open. And then I'm gonna drizzle it with some of the juice. So let's just get in there. This looks absolutely delicious. Mm. 
Mm. Nothing beats the smell of berries. Okay, so I'm gonna pile a whole bunch on there. And then I'm gonna dollop it off. Instead of whipped cream, I'm using some vanilla yogurt. So give it a big dollop. Doesn't that look beautiful? Put the top back on, a little sprig of mint, and there you have it. A nutritious and delicious way to celebrate Mother's Day. And remember, it's not about what we can't do, it's about what we can. For a copy of this recipe and more, log on to accenthealth.com slash recipes or call 1-888-662-1246.